Well, hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my top 10 favorites from the brand, The Inky List. You all are really enjoying this series of my top 10 favorites from different major brands, and The Inky List was a highly requested brand. Today's video is sponsored by The Inky List. You guys know I'm a huge fan. I've been recommending their products in numerous videos for a long time now. I personally use many of them myself. And The Inky List, if you're not familiar, is a brand that exists to increased knowledge about skincare ingredients, making them simpler to understand and easy to incorporate into your skincare routine. They believe that better information powers better decisions for your skin and really for everything else, which I think we can all agree is true. What initially attracted me to the Inky List and why I continue to recommend their products and use them myself is that their formulas feature one main active ingredient and the other ingredients in the formula function to maximize the efficacy of that active ingredient and minimize the risk of irritation. So there's no, there's no unnecessary ingredients that could irritate your skin. It really, their formulas are such to really allow the ingredient to shine and to do what it's supposed to do to get you the results that you're looking for, for whatever specific skin condition you are, you are aiming to improve. The other reason I've always been attracted to the Inky List is that their products are all under $15, so they're very affordable. You can buy all of their skincare products at Sephora, and I don't know if you guys know this, but Sephora is currently having their big fall sale. It runs from October 30th to uh, November 9th. Uh, with the code holiday fun. So it's a great time to save some money and these products are great. Today's video, I'm actually gonna do a little different. I'm going to break the products down into different skin concerns and skin issues. First of all, let's talk about products for oily skin. People with oily skin, they often endorse issues of enlarged pores, maybe blackheads, excessive oiliness. If you go back in time to my video on the best blackhead masks out there, you'll recall I recommended the Kaolin Clay Mask by The Inky List. This is a fantastic product for people with oily skin, prominent pores. It features kale and clay, which can help to absorb some of that excess sebum, AKA oil, off the surface of the skin and from within the pore. Now, kaolin is what you'll find in a lot of clay masks, but what I love the most about the Inky List is that there aren't a bunch of other ingredients in there that are gonna irritate your skin and dry it out and cause redness and irritation. The formula is moisturizing so that the clay can really go to work to pull out that extra oil without drying out your skin too much or causing irritation. The mask is really simple to use. You just apply a thin film to clean skin. Um, leave it on for about 10 minutes and then rinse it off. It's very moisturizing. It's not going to dry out your skin. After you rinse it off, you can apply your regular moisturizer and you can do this twice a week. It really helps cut down on that excess shininess and oiliness. And for people with oily skin, you might find that with using this, your cosmetics go on better because you've kind of evened out the playing field. You don't have so much sebum piled up on the surface of the skin. This product isn't just for your face though. If you have these issues on other body sites, like your back, your chest, you can use this there too. It doesn't, it's, just, it's not a face exclusive product. Another product for people with oily skin that is really effective for uh, exfoliating the pore and reducing shine and oiliness is their salicylic acid cleanser. This can be used up to twice a day to the face and salicylic acid is perfect for people with oily skin and or acne because it exfoliates the pore, it reduces oiliness, and it actually can give some control to the acne as well. Salicylic acid, otherwise known as beta hydroxy acid, is an exfoliating acid that concentrates in the oily surfaces and it can exfoliate the pore to improve the look of pores and reduce oiliness and it also imparts acne control. So if you have acne, this is a great product to use. You can actually use this up to twice a day to the face. Just make sure you don't use it around the eyes or too close to the mouth. The skin there is very thin and more prone to irritation with salicylic acid. If you wanna learn more about salicylic acid, I have videos on it and how to use it and its benefits in acne. It's also a good ingredient for hyperpigmentation, another category I'll get into in a moment. All right, moving on to dry skin. This product is helpful for people with dry skin, but honestly, any skin type can use it. It is their oat cleansing balm. 
This is one of my favorite cleansing balms. It's super gentle. It features oats, which you guys know I'm a huge fan of. They have a natural detergent property to them to cleanse, but they're not drying or irritating. They're rich in lipids that help with skin barrier function. The way to use this product is very simple. You just take a small amount into the palm of your hand, maybe heat it up a little bit by rubbing it between your hands and then spread it on your face. It's gentle enough to use around the eyes to remove eye makeup. And then you just take a little bit of water. And the nice thing about this is that it has polyethylene glycol in it and emulsifier. So once you add that water, it will actually work into a lather. I like this because the oil, the oat oil, helps to break up the film of cosmetics and water resistant sunscreen without really stripping away at your natural lipid barrier. And then as you work it into a lather with the water, it, it easily rinses off. And then after you rinse it off, you can just follow it up with your regular moisturizers. I point this out as a great product for people with a dry skin because a lot of cleansers and cleansing products, makeup removers, etc., um, are very drying, especially for people with dry skin. They strip the natural lipid barrier. So using a cleansing balm is a good approach for those folks in particular, and this one is great. You know, I, I have a video from, I, I wanna say a year ago, where I started using this and raving about it. And yeah, it's, it's one of the best cleansing balms I've ever used. <laughs> Now, people with dry skin, they often have a difficult time exfoliating some of that dry, built up, dead skin. Um, and chemical exfoliants in the class of alpha hydroxy acids are a good choice because they're large, comp they're large ingredients that help to slough off that dry, built up, dead stuff. They're gentle and they're also hydrating. And a great alpha hydroxy acid for people with dry, bumpy skin like keratosis pilaris is lactic acid. Uh, lactic acid, uh, like I said, it's a humectant and it helps soften that dry built up stuff and it's really good on the face for keratosis pilaris. If you have some textural issues too, just kind of dull appearing skin, using a product like this will help as well. It's very simple to use. You just do one to two drops in your palm and spread it over your skin after you have cleansed and rinsed the skin while the skin is still damp. Doing it that way, uh, you know, you really, you really maximize the humectant action of the lactic acid. And then you just apply your moisturizer on over it. Lactic acid is very gentle. It's great for dry skin conditions and you'll find it in very popular, uh, <laughs> expensive products, but you don't need to pay that price for lactic acid. Um, and I highly recommend this. It's very affordable and you don't need very much of it to, to generate a thin film on the surface of the skin. All right, a lot of you guys deal with hyperpigmentation, maybe related to acne that is healed with a dark mark. And a go-to ingredient for hyperpigmentation is hydroquinone, but it does come with a lot of side effects of irritation and you can't use it long-term uh, because it can cause rebound hyperpigmentation. So a a safer alternative that's very gentle and works kind of similar to hydroquinone is alpha arbutin. This actually inhibits the enzyme that leads to upregulation of abnormal pigment production. It's very, like I said, it's very gentle and you can use it twice a day to areas of hyperpigmentation. And the way to use it is just to apply it after cleansing to clean skin and then apply your moisturizer on over it. It's, it's super gentle. You can use it to areas where you have skin that's more sensitive, like your neck. The skin on the neck is very thin and a lot of active ingredients aimed at improving hyperpigmentation are often too irritating for the neck, but this you can use there. You can use it uh, to other body sites as well, like the inner thighs or under the armpits. I know a lot of you guys deal with hyperpigmentation in those er areas. This is a, a skin brightening ingredient that's gentle enough to use in those areas of sensitive skin. It's okay to combine it with other ingredients too. It doesn't uh, degrade in the presence of those other ingredients, but it will degrade if it gets too warm. So don't leave it out in the Texas heat uh, because it can, alpha arbutin can degrade in the heat. Uh, that's the only thing you have to worry about, but so long as you don't keep your skincare in the oven, you should be more than fine with this. Um, so this is a great one for improving not only hyperpigmentation related to healing acne, but also some hyperpigmentation, maybe from too much sun exposure, you can get a good brightening effect from this. And again, inexpensive, no garbagey ingredients that are gonna increase the risk of irritation. As I've said in my videos on hyperpigmentation, anything that increases irritation in the skin is going to worsen 
lessen the hyperpigmentation. That's why I love this formula so much because it just focuses on the alpha arbutin and allowing it to, to do its thing. And there are no other bogus ingredients in there that are gonna cause irritation for people. So it's a really good way to incorporate it into your routine with minimal risk of irritation. Another ingredient though for hyperpigmentation that um, is safe for deeper skin tones, but it can be irritating. And I already talked about it, but it's beta hydroxy acid, AKA salicylic acid. The Inky List makes a beta hydroxy acid leave-on product that's really good for hyperpigmentation. It also can be used for improving oiliness. Acne prone skin can benefit from using this. And as I said, salicylic acid is an exfoliant. It focuses in the oily surfaces, but it also can remove some superficial hyperpigmentation and just help accelerate the clearance of those dark marks. And because it kind of smooths out the surface of the skin, especially uh, kind of in reducing the oiliness, it allows for better penetration of other active ingredients. The next category is wrinkles, specifically those little fine wrinkles like around your eyes, um, maybe on your neck, anywhere on the body. And a lot of that is made, the appearance of those types of wrinkles is made much worse if the skin is dry. And I've always talked about how beneficial it can be to utilize a topical hyaluronic acid underneath your moisturizer because topical hyaluronic acid, it's a humectant, so it helps hold water in the skin and kind of plumps up skin cells. And as a result, it smooths out those little fine pesky wrinkles. The Inky List makes a fantastic hyaluronic acid uh, product. And the way to use this is after you cleanse your skin and you rinse it, clean of the cleanser. While the skin is still damp, just apply a few drops of this to the face or to just the targeted area. Like if you just want to improve the look of the wrinkles around the eyes, just apply a few drops there and pat it in and then apply your moisturizer on over it. It's important to apply moisturizer on over this because it's a humectant. So you need another ingredient to kind of act as an occlusive to trap the water into the skin. This is a great way to begin introducing hyaluronic acid into your routine to derive that additional skin plumping benefit and to smooth out those wrinkles. Now, another um, product I've talked about before, uh, our set of ingredients for improving the look of wrinkles and fine lines is going to be peptides. Now, peptides, they, like hyaluronic acid, they act as humectants, meaning they just hold on to water and help plump up skin cells and smooth things out. But there is some evidence that using peptides in skincare products can help <clears throat> boost up collagen in the deeper layers of the skin. And the Inky List makes a fantastic uh, collagen booster peptide serum that uh, is great to try out uh, for improving those wrinkles and fine lines. And you can use this along with the HA serum underneath your moisturizer or just by itself, uh, depending on you know how you how you want to proceed. But both uh, help in plumping up those skin cells. And in theory, this can, with ongoing use, plump up skin by improving collagen synthesis. So it's a really good product. The last category includes probably my two favorite products from the Inky List, and that is the category of improving skin texture, which is kind of a vague open umbrella category of issues that may be related to skin aging, just dull appearing skin, skin that doesn't quite have that snap, elasticity, isn't as firm as it once was. You're looking to plump, hydrate, and smooth things out. It's not necessarily aimed at wrinkles, but wrinkles can be in there too. So there's some overlap between this category and the wrinkles category, but this is really specific to people who are looking to uh, improve hydration deep down, maybe exfoliate some sun damage, and just overall get that, I would say glass skin, but that just kind of even, clear, glowing skin, these ingredients can really help. The first one is polyhydroxy acid. The Inky List makes a fantastic, no-nonsense, polyhydroxy acid toner. I featured this in my video on polyhydroxy acid. So if you want a more in-depth review on this uh, set of ingredients, check that video out. But to remind you, polyhydroxy acids, they are um, chemical exfoliants actually that are gentle enough for very sensitive skin. So they help to remove some of those uh, superficial damaged cells, dry cells, built up cells. So if you have dry skin, you'll derive benefit from this as well. Um, 
They're also humectants, so they add hydration to the skin. And there's evidence that with long-term consistent use, they can help in fighting what's called glycation. Glycation is a process that happens in the skin that contributes to um, aging of the skin. It's basically <clears throat> sugar molecules kind of glomming onto proteins uh, as a quick descriptor. But the consequences of glycation in the skin include wrinkles and this deepening or darkening of the skin that doesn't have anything to do with actual pigment. It's just kind of a, just kind of a darkening of the skin that has nothing to do with melanin. Uh, so the active ingredients that fight hyperpigmentation don't address that type of age-related skin change, that darkening. But there's some evidence that polyhydroxy acids might help with that. And their toner is really fantastic. The way to use it is to just apply it to cleanse skin. After you clean the skin and rinse it while the skin's still damp, it's a good time to put this on. It increases the penetration of the poly, um, polyhydroxy acids. Um, and really capitalizes on their humectant action by kind of binding onto that water. And then just apply moisturizer on over or in the daytime, you know, apply your sunscreen on over it. This is really good. If you have rosacea or sensitive skin, this is an ingredient that you can dabble in and is, tends to be very well tolerated in those skin types uh, as opposed to other chemical exfoliants. This is actually very, typically very rosacea friendly. So try it out if you're somebody who has very sensitive skin and you want something to improve skin texture, uh, to exfoliate the skin, try this out. It's very good, very affordable, no nonsense, and it works. I've used an entire bottle myself, um, so I, I know firsthand it's very effective. Now, the other ingredient is another one that I featured this in my video dedicated to this ingredient is their polyglutamic acid. Now, polyglutamic acids, uh, polyglutamic acid, it is an ingredient that's kind of like hyaluronic acid in that it's got an amazing ability to bind water and hydrate the skin. But unlike, um, unlike hyaluronic acid, polyglutamic acid, it kind of forms this, this lightweight film on the skin to trap that hydration in. So it has a little bit of an occlusive property that really will reduce water loss out of the skin, overall improving skin hydration. As a result, you'll have better skin texture. You'll have firmer skin. When the skin is hydrated and plumped up, you just have firmer skin. It's not as saggy. And there's evidence that consistent use of polyglutamic acid can also help in improving skin elasticity. As we get wiser, our skin loses a lot of elasticity that kind of snap and recoil. And there is some evidence that using PGA, <laughs> I like to call it, not golf, uh, can improve the elasticity of your skin. I know I'm kind of combining two categories here of wrinkles and skin texture, but a lot of times people want to improve both of them. I highly suggest pairing then their polyglutamic acid with the hyaluronic acid. These two together are a nice pairing because hyaluronic acid is really going to penetrate potentially a little bit more deeply into the top layer of the skin to add that hydration. And the polyglutamic acid, it's gonna hydrate the very top layers and seal everything in place. So they're a really nice pairing together uh, for improving some of the visible signs of photo aging. So those are my top 10 skincare product recommendations from the Inky List. They're a fantastic brand. I love their philosophy. I've been recommending their products for a long time now and using them myself. If you guys wanna check out any of these products, they're gonna all be listed down below in the description box. Definitely take advantage of the Sephora sale that's going on. If you are a Rouge member, you can you know take advantage of it now. If you are a VIB, maybe wait a few days till that kicks off. And then if you're an insider, you know that starts on on the 5th, I believe. So uh, yeah, take advantage of that sale to get these at an even more discounted rate, although they are affordable at baseline. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you, Inky List, for sponsoring today's video. And if you liked it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.